Consider a seed buried in the dark soil. It looks dead, is surrounded by dirt, and is alone. However, it is precisely in this darkness that it starts to expand, gradually making its way toward the light. Have you ever had the impression of a seed waiting for a breakout while being buried under the stresses of life? I want to talk about having patience and having faith in God's timing today. God is getting you ready for what you've been praying for, even though you may feel like you're in the dead. God promises that His plans are always for our benefit. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 states, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. But these plans come to pass not in our timing, but in His perfect timing. Being patient is more than just waiting. It's also having faith that God is in control. Let's explore this. There are undoubtedly a lot of things you wish for when you consider your own life, such as a new career, a fulfilling relationship, recovery, or a turning point in a challenging circumstance. Even though you may be asking for these things every day, it can still be difficult to wait for the answers. But keep in mind that God has a wider perspective. He is well aware of your needs, both now and in the future. Even when his timing conflicts with our own, it is always impeccable. Think about the narrative of Abraham and Sarah. Although God had promised them a child, Isaac wasn't born for several years. Like us, they were filled with doubt and impatience throughout that period. However, their narrative demonstrates that God's promises are worthwhile. The birth of Isaac filled a great void in God's purpose for humanity and brought about great joy. God's ideal plan would have escaped Abraham and Sarah if they had given up or put matters into their own hands. It might be difficult to wait, especially when everyone around you seem to be getting their wishes fulfilled. Though it's simple to ask yourself, why not me? Why not now? At these times, keep in mind that God's delays are not rejections. Frequently, they are His means of getting us ready for something bigger than we can ever conceive. God is shaping and preparing you for what's next in your life, much like a gardener trims a plant to make it stronger and yield more fruit. Being patient is about actively trusting rather than just passing the time. It all comes down to having faith in God's goodness, love, and ability to work everything out for your benefit. You can be at ease while you wait if you have faith in His timing. Just as it takes time for a potter to form and work with clay, so too is God meticulously getting you ready for His purposes. Let's examine how the Joseph narrative demonstrates this preparation. Consider Joseph from the Bible who was wrongfully accused, sold into slavery by his brothers, and imprisoned. Joseph had a really difficult journey. Joseph's hardships were, however, training him for a higher purpose. As he states to his brothers in Genesis 50 verse 20, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good. God gave Joseph visions of greatness when he was a young man. However, such dreams resulted in betrayal and jealousy. Rather than proceeding directly towards his destiny, Joseph encountered a series of challenges. It's not difficult to picture his anguish and confusion. Why would God grant him dreams but allow him to suffer? But each of Joseph's trials served a purpose in God's plan. Potiphar taught him how to be a leader in his home. He developed his administrative abilities and earned a solid reputation for honesty while inside. These were not wasted years. Rather, they prepared him for his next assignment. Imagine Joseph if he had given up, if he had grown resentful or had lost hope. He never would have been able to prevent hunger in Egypt and for his own family. His narrative suggests that God may be using our present adversity as a means of preparing us for future prosperity. Similar like Joseph, your failures serve as preludes to victories. Every challenge is an opportunity to learn. Every experience a stepping stone. God is shaping you into the person He needs you to be for what He has planned by utilizing your challenges. Recall that you are being refined by God throughout difficult times. He is strengthening you, developing your character, and getting you ready for the position He has reserved only for you. Have faith in this procedure. Recognize that your current challenges are preparing you for the joys that await you in the future. Now that we know why we are preparing, Let's look at some ways to accept and benefit from this experience. Our religion and morality are put to the test and strengthened during these times. 
Every obstacle you face is a chance for personal development, as James 1 verses 2 to 4 reminds us. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. You are growing the strength and character required for the purposes God has for you. Just like that seed in the soil, consider the transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly. It begins as a small egg and develops into a growing, eating caterpillar. It eventually reaches the chrysalis stage, which is a time of seeming dormancy. Within the chrysalis, however, a spectacular metamorphosis is occurring. The butterfly is stunning, liberated, and prepared to soar when it finally emerges. Similar to that chrysalis, your hardships and challenges may seem unpleasant and limiting, yet they are essential to your evolution. God utilizes these moments to strengthen your faith, patience, and fortitude. Every challenge serves as a tool in God's hands, molding you into the person He needs you to be in order to bestow the rewards He has planned. Think about David's story as well. He was a shepherd before he was king, a job that needed endurance and attention to detail. He faced lions and bears during this time, experiences that helped him in later fights, such as the well-known one he had with Goliath. It was a season of preparation, not a waste of David's time as a shepherd. Consider the difficulties you encounter in your own life as opportunities for growth. Every challenge presents a chance to get stronger and more dependent on God. This perspective change can turn your challenges into potent learning opportunities. Ask yourself, what is God teaching me through this? Rather than, why is this happening to me? Consider how muscles are constructed as another method to comprehend this process of growth. Your muscle fibers sustain tiny tears during exercise. After your body heals these tears, the muscle becomes stronger than it was. In a similar vein, however, every hardship you go through may seem like a tear in your life. God is using them to strengthen and resilient you. Rely on God's assurance that you will be supported while you overcome your obstacles. Have faith that He is guiding you through every stage of the process, as stated in Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Relying on God's perfect timing, we are reminded in Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. We might not experience the entirety of what God has planned for us if we rush or exert force. His timing concerns not just when, but also the person you become along the way. Now let's consider nature. Consider a fruit tree. Hard and sour fruit results from picking it before it is mature. But the fruit is sweet and tasty if you wait for the correct season. That fruit is a lot like our lives. The outcomes are far better when we wait for God's ideal timing than when we move quickly. Think about Abraham and Sarah in the Bible. They had to wait a long time for the boy that God had promised. They took affairs into their own hands out of impatience, which resulted in sorrow and complications. But when they at last put their faith in God and waited for his timing, they were rewarded with Isaac, the promised son, who became a vital component in God's grand design. It is not always easy to wait. At times, it can be excruciating and irritating. However, God is working on your heart throughout this waiting time. You are learning patience, faith, and endurance from Him. He is molding your personality and getting you ready for the gifts that lie ahead. God is utilizing every waiting moment to get you ready for something bigger. Sometimes the reason for the delay is for safety. What you've been hoping for might not be ready for you just yet. You could have certain learning curves to overcome or areas in your life that require improvement. God wants to make sure you're prepared for things, and He knows when it's the right moment to bring them into your life. Believing that He understands what's best for you, even when it's difficult to see, means trusting His timing. Continue your search for God while you wait. Spend time in His Word and in prayer. Get nearer to Him and pay attention to His direction. The waiting phase is a period of growth and preparation, not of waste. Moving on to the next crucial idea, Religion is what keeps us grounded in these waiting periods. It's the conviction that God is at work even when we are unable to see it. This gets us to the subject of faith's function in our next section. 
Faith is essential during waiting times. Hebrews 11 verse 1 defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. It's trusting that God is at work even when you can't see it. Moving forward and believing that God maintains His promises is what faith does. The more you exercise your faith, the stronger it becomes. Consider the difficulties or setbacks you experience as spiritual exercises. Your spiritual muscles are being built in the same way that athletes exercise to increase their strength and stamina. Every hardship and every waiting period is a chance to put greater faith and confidence in God and His promises. Think about Abraham's narrative. Although God had promised him he would father many countries, years went by with no indication of a kid. Abraham's confidence remained unwavering throughout the protracted wait and the promise's apparent impossibility. Romans 4 verses 20 to 21 tells us, Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. Abraham's steadfast faith serves as a tremendous lesson for us. It demonstrates that having faith entails holding fast to God's promises even in the face of contradicting evidence. It might be simple to become disheartened when things don't go forward as rapidly as we like. We may begin to question whether God is answering our prayers or whether He is even at all at all. But never forget that faith means putting your trust in God's invisible hand at work. It's about trusting that even when you don't see the whole picture, He is working everything out for your benefit. You should spend time in God's Word to bolster your faith. You might find encouragement in the numerous accounts of his constancy found throughout the Bible. Another essential element is prayer. You are engaging in active communication with God when you pray, giving him access to your heart and allowing him to guide and console you. Worship has additional power. Praise turns your attention from your troubles to the glory of God. The link between where you are and where God is leading you is faith. You remain expecting and hopeful because you know that God will fulfill His promises. By strengthening your faith, you set yourself up to benefit from all that God has planned for you. Romans 8 verse 28, which gives us comfort, emphasizes the benefits of patience when it says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Your patience and faith will not be in vain. Every aspect of your life is being planned by God for both His glory and your ultimate benefit. Your patience will pay off in ways you never would have thought possible. Let's examine this in more detail. Envision a master artist creating a masterpiece. Even though each brushstroke appears unrelated or random, when combined, they produce a stunning image. Similarly, every instance of waiting, every obstacle you overcome, and every prayer you offer up is a brushstroke in the picture God is creating of your life. Your waiting is about the change taking place within you as much as the outcome. God is developing your faith, fortifying your character, and preparing you for the obligations that come along with His favors. It is comparable to marathon training. Training ensures that you are ready to run with strength and endurance on race day by preparing you for the next one. Consider the case of David, who was crowned king but did not ascend to the throne for several years. He endured many hardships during those years, including having to run for his life. However, these encounters equipped him to rule as a just and wise monarch. David might not have become the leader Israel needed if he had ascended to the throne right away. It's not just about assisting others that this patience and preparation journey is about. Your tale becomes a testimonial when you at last receive what you have been praying for. Others are encouraged to hold on to their faith and have faith in God's timing. Your endurance can serve as a ray of hope for someone else throughout their time of waiting. Keep in mind that everything fits precisely because of God's timetable. Something too quickly may reach you before you're prepared to face it. You might not have had time to fully experience it if it arrives too late. To trust God is to have faith that He will know when to best bless you, so that both He and you will be glorified and your joy will be maximized. Thus, as you wait, pay attention to the good things that are happening in your life. Seek for the little favors and the ways that God is molding you. Appreciate the development, the insights, 
and the moments of faith that are fortifying you for the future. You are getting closer to the realization of God's promises with every step you take. To sum up, patience involves more than just waiting. It also involves developing, changing, and getting ready. Your patience will make you stronger, smarter, and more devoted to one another. It's a life that is an inspiration to others and a reflection of God's grandeur. Remain hopeful and have faith that God is bringing everything together for your benefit. What therefore ought to you accomplish in the interim? Continue to grow, trust, and pray. God is preparing you for the very things you have been praying for. So have patience. Use this time to strengthen your bond with Him, expand your trust, and ready your heart for the gifts that are still to come. Recall that God's delays are preparatory. They are not denials. You are being nourished and primed for a bigger purpose, much like a seed planted in the ground. Remain hopeful, have faith in His plan, and know that God is working in your life. Let's pray and bend our heads to God before we close, asking for His wisdom and fortitude while we wait for His ideal time. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to You today with hearts full of trust and hope. We recognize that even though we are blind to the whole picture, your plans for us are excellent. Lord, give us the endurance to wait for your ideal moment. Please give us the faith to believe that every obstacle and every delay is a part of your heavenly planning for the blessings we have been asking for. Father, we ask for courage when we feel frustrated and uncertain. Remind us that we are being ready for something bigger, much like Joseph was, who went through many struggles before realizing his destiny. Give us unshakable faith so that we can trust that you are working in our lives, even when there is silence. Lord, grant us the discernment to recognize our adversities as chances for development. Please help us to accept the process, understanding that you are strengthening our resolve and developing our character. May we enjoy the trip and have faith that you are forming us into the individuals you have intended for us to be in the future. We give you our worries since we know you love us all very much. Change our doubts with your constancy, our anger with your patience, and our anxiety with your serenity. Please lead us by your Holy Spirit, so that he might reassure us while we wait and fill us with hope for the future. We are grateful for your unwavering love and the knowledge that you are constantly with us, Lord. With the knowledge that your ways are higher than ours and your thoughts are higher than ours, we give you our timetables. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. If today's message has inspired you and you want to keep developing your faith, you might want to consider becoming a subscriber to our channel. As perseverance and faith are essential in our walk with God, becoming a subscriber to our channel guarantees you won't miss any upcoming motivational talks that will uplift your soul. In addition to sharing this video with people who might need a reminder to be patient and believe in God's timing, be sure to click the notification bell to receive updates whenever we upload new content. Let's work together to provide everyone who seeks it hope and encouragement.